So today we are going to start with lesson four. So what do you know about a spectrogram? Um, the spectrogram, it shows you, um, like, like what we were doing yesterday, we were drawing the pitches. I love it. So the spectrogram is going to show you whether the sound is high or if it's low. And it can be done in a wave, and it could also be done in various ways, because we, we saw that yesterday. Everyone was coming up with such great ways to represent sound. So today, we are actually going to be using the engineering design process, and we are going to be listening to real bird calls. Yesterday, we heard ones that were just model bird calls of the speckled bubble bird. Today, we're actually going to be hearing real bird calls, and you're going to be doing the same sort of thing that you did yesterday, but in a little bit different way. Listening to the real bird calls might be a little bit more of a challenge. Who's up for a challenge? Awesome. These are the birds that your team will need to represent visually. You're actually going to create a way for other people to interpret your sound representation, and then the other teams are going to guess which birds you have. So the whiteboards are for your teams to do your imagine stage. Okay, here is the first bird. Common loon. Eastern Wood Peewee. Northern Cardinal. Blue Jay. Morning Dove. I'm going to give you, oh, about another five minutes or so to be with your teams to discuss, to plan, to imagine, before we start to create. If your team thinks they have a solid plan and are ready to move on to create, you can raise your hand at any time and I'll pass out your materials. Does your team have a solid plan and are in agreement? Oops. You need to think in your mind how you are going to make these representations. So you need to think about the materials that you have and how you will use them to best describe in a visual way that someone else can understand it. So you need to put that into your mind and imagine it first. On our dry erase boards, someone should keep this there, like their board, whoever wants to do it, or if they, or, or if someone like doesn't care. How many parts are there? One, two, three. Four. No, there's two. No, one. Two, no, we have to make three parts. There's four parts, you know. So it's high. You can play like this. Now it's your turn. Yeah. If you want to do the low, and you can do the medium. Who does the medium? I need a piece of tape. Tape that right there. Tape that right there. Don't want to stick your fingers. No, I need tape right here. We are gonna stop. You're going to put materials down. Wave your fingers at me so I know there's no materials in your hand. And we're going to keep our materials down, even if you haven't quite finished yet, because some of the teams are going to at least show their visual sound representation. So can this team hold up your visual sound representation? And they use the materials of the yarn and the pasta. So does anyone think they know what bird they were representing? Presley. Blue Jay. Sophia. Common Lou. Yes. All right, awesome. We're gonna give our full attention to this team and 
just by looking. I'm not going to have you girls say anything yet. Just by looking. Can you figure out the different parts of the call, where the pitch is, and maybe which bird call it actually represents? Anna, I think it is the eastern. No. Caramel. The caramel. Nope. Morning duck? Yes. So who's finding this to be a little bit of a challenge, like I said it was going to be, to create a visual representation? Now that a few of the teams have actually presented and have shown what they created, Sage, I'm going to have you sit for just a second. How would we, or how would your team, think about moving on to that next step in the engineering design process and improving upon your design? What do you think, Anna? I would improve it by like doing more detail, just a little bit more detail. Yeah. And like number it so they know like which one. That, so the people know like which one is which. But Anna, how would we do that? Because this is all one beat. Should, would have we put yeah, the like, one in the middle or something? Yeah. So you guys did awesome understanding how Kwame used the engineering design process all the way through using it in your own visual representation of sound. So great job everyone, give your all a round of applause. I'm Susan DeAngelis, I teach at the Village School in Naples, Florida and I am an elementary school teacher. I, I love having them hear all the different birds calls because now I know that just when they're walking around school campus or when they're at home, they really will tune into a bird and sort of think back on this and try to identify what type of call it is and what type of bird it was. I would love to have had a little bit more time in lesson four to let them improve upon what they created. Um, but they did such a great job with just creating. Um, I was really proud of them.